All right, Tuesday morning, let's talk about it. Tackling a problem of tackle football and your kids. The Jupiter Mustangs football program is the first Pop Warner youth program in the state to use new helmet caps to protect against head trauma. A lot of parents hoping this will catch on. WPTV News Channel 5's Tori Dunnan has more on why this particular team did it and how it could transform the sport off the field. When the pandemic halted youth sports, that gave organizers time to think about the future and safety protocols. And ultimately, it led to a $10,000 investment for the Jupiter Mustangs in the form of these caps. Tackling the issues that come with tackle football and little kids. Football, it, you know, it's just fun and we want to bring that back. I think this is like one step closer. Football mom Amber Hicks is excited about a new piece of safety equipment that the boys will wear this season. Uh, where they say they can eliminate up to 75% of any of the impact and it just it just made sense. She says parents do have some concern about concussions and head trauma, but they also know the love their kids feel for the game. We definitely want to see our kids safe. Maybe this is the first step in you know, having more people join football. Coach Brad Caldwell, the president of the Jupiter Mustangs, acknowledges the fear. When I took over the Mustangs program three years ago, the uh, enrollment was down almost 50%. Parents nervous about all the head trauma. He decided. is real soft foam. Um, it snaps on real easy. To add a layer of head protection. It's less than a pound. It's one of those that just makes sense. You know, why would you not? The Jupiter Mustangs will wear these Guardian helmet caps over their helmets. Some college teams already use them, he says. We are the first youth program um, in the state of Florida or the Pop Warner programs to use them. We're going to put them on all kids uh, for practice only. Um, if the other teams do start to adopt this technology, it may make sense to even do it for the lower levels uh, in games as well. To me, at the most sa more safety, the better, uh, especially at the younger ages. Dr. Manuel Brito. To say Pop Warner football is a no-go for children, I'm not ready to do that. Um, I'm ready to say, be intelligent about it. Is the medical director of the Pediatric Concussion Center at Palm Beach Children's Hospital. He says the choice to play should be up to the family, the child, and the physician and says helmet technology has come a long way, but it's not fail proof. Yes, it's nice to have helmets that can dissipate the force more and more and more, but that won't guarantee that you, you, you will take concussions out of the equation. He says concussions are a factor when you partake in most team sports. It should not only be talking about tackle football, but about basketball, soccer, and other sports, even, as, even flag football. I Coach Caldwell says the love of the game is inspiring change to make it safer. All the coaches have to take a head safety course now. If it wasn't for football, I would have never gotten through high school, probably would have never gotten through college, um, but never would have gotten my first job and, and the career that I have today. Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5.